Everyone knows this castle from Rainbow Friends, but what's inside? Well, today we find out as we take a tour of Rainbow Friends Chapter 2 and reveal the dark secrets of Blue's castle. Now remember, this is a fan-made recreation of Chapter 2, designed by yours truly. Now it's time to spot the difference. Here's my creation, and here is the official teaser image. I think I did pretty well. Welcome to Blue's Castle. Let's go and take a tour then, so you can walk straight in to this beautiful, very colourful hallway. And this is only the first room. I know, it's giant. Bear in mind, this whole castle I built is based off one picture. And of course, your guys' theories. Okay, so let's start the tour. Of course, we're meant to queue up over here. Line starts here, but we ain't lining up. So over here, we've got red rubies. So these are red ruby gems. Each gem has the power to create a new friend. Which brings me to the machine. Of course, the incubator. The machine in which the rainbow friends were made. So... My theory was, Red took one of these ruby gems and then put it into the incubator. And of course, with a few other secrets, Red managed to make the Rainbow Friends. And then moving on, we've got the sketchbooks used to create the character designs for Rainbow Funtime Friends cartoon TV show. So of course, this is from chapter one, but I thought it'd be cool to implement it into the castle as this is Blue's castle. And then over here, we've got the tape recorder. So this was the original audio recording device used to voice the friends. Okay, so which way do we go first? Do we either go upstairs? We can go that way or that way or <laughs> down here. There's so many different ways to go. So I feel like I'm gonna start off going down here and then we can make our way around to the rest of the castle. Oh, and by the way, if you guys wanna check this out for yourself, I have made it a public game, as you can see. So we've got Blue's Castle Rainbow Friends Chapter 2 Fan Made by Jake Lobox. So if you guys want to go and check this out and play for yourself, I will leave the game link in the description. Okay, back to the tour. So up here, we have a huge dining area, as you can see. Let's say Blue would sit here with his Coca-Cola. <laughs> because Blue definitely drinks Coca-Cola. And yeah, I tried to make this quite elegant and grand. I could definitely imagine the Rainbow Friends sat here having a nice lunch. Wow, ceiling lighting, so cool. As you can see over here, we have big giant doors which leads down to something. However, we'll check that out probably towards the end of the video. So let's head in this direction, which leads to the kitchen. Of course, Blue doesn't cook himself. He definitely has a team of chefs. Come on now. This is Blue we're talking about. He would cook on the fire and then you could turn around, cook all your food here. I'm honestly quite happy with how the kitchen turned out. I was worried at first. I had no ideas for a kitchen, but I think I did quite well with this. Now, if we go into here, there's like a pantry area for more storage. And then down here is where things get a bit scarier. We come down the spiral staircase. You can see it's like a wine cellar for extra storage, loads of barrels, and that needs to be fixed. Why are there two lights there? Come on, Jake. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Hello? What are you doing here? Yep, there's a few Easter eggs around the map. Oh, I wonder where that leads to. But we're going to check that out later. So let's go back up the stairs. And then if we go into this room, this actually leads us back down to another corridor. As you can see, this is where we was before. That leads to the dining room area. But if we just come back here and then take a left, you can see it's a very grand entrance to a corridor. But this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the castle. I, I kind of went for a museum theme on this. Of course, what better to have in your own castle than having your own castle. Yeah, kind of confusing. <laughs> but what I wanted to do was take this whole castle, shrink it down and pop it on a table. I'm honestly quite proud of how this turned out. So you can see we are here. There's like a little arrow pointing down to the glass roof. And of course we are at the glass roof. So this is Blue's castle, Blue's mini model castle display. Over here we have Hemlock Woods, good old Hemlock Woods. So that's like a memory for Blue. We've got orange, just orange. <laughs> and then over here, we've got Blue's Castle. And if we head over to this direction, we come into the library. Uh, 
and yeah, you can see there's been a bit of destruction over the years. We can still see the mini model for the castle over here and it just illuminates so well. Yeah, this is the library. It's quite big. I must admit this is a large library. But remember, Blue has a big brain. He has a lot of knowledge, okay? And then going out of the library to the main entrance again. Believe it or not, that is not it. We've still got a lot more to explore. <laughs> this is a big castle. Hence why it took the last week of my life to build. So now we're going to head upstairs and check out Blue's bedroom and so. So let's go up these grand stairs. You can see I've tried to keep up this red ribbon theme the whole way through, which I think works quite well. And then up here, we've got a grand hallway. And here is the most important room of the house. Blue's bedroom. So let's go into Blue's room. And wow, look at this. You can see it's quite fancy. He's got his little desk area over here with his newspapers. And what's that? He's actually got his own book. Oh, the details. You've got to love the tiny details, right? He's got a grand bed over here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wouldn't you just love to sleep in this bed? And of course, Blue's fondest memory. His first friend. We had to include that in his bedroom. And then heading out of Blue's room to the second room upstairs which is kind of like a spare bedroom any guests that blue has around they can sleep in here but this room has more of a creepy feature to it let me show you so if we come through here you may be thinking hmm what's this staircase and where does it lead to well let's check it out shall we okay this looks uneasy and very cold it does look very cold down here but guys if we head down this corridor we enter blue's dungeon oh my goodness who is that is that red? That is right, Blue has captured red. Yeah, so um, a bit of explaining to do here. Blue wanted to get his own back from chapter one. Of course, red controlled all the rainbow friends and made them do things they didn't really want to do. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. So if you're heading this direction, coming out of the cave, this is what I imagine to be kind of like red science lab. Before he was captured, of course. So Red would work down here, working on his little science experiments. And here actually leads all the way back to the barrel room. Let's just head all the way back. And then back in the dungeon, we go up these stairs. And this leads you all the way to the dining area again. So these were the giant doors I was talking about. And then if we go back down to the cave system, the final bit to check out is this room here. So I kind of wanted to create a bit of mystery and leave it open to interpretation of what is down here because it's kind of mysterious. What is around that corner? We will never know because you can't go down there. <laughs> and what's this? Purple's return? Dun, dun, dun. And then if we go up the stairs, we lead back to the start. If you guys do end up playing this, make sure to come over to Blue's throne and take a picture and send me a picture on Twitter. Anyway, it's time for you to leave the castle now. Get out of here.